Now here's a bit of evidence of a long, cold winter. Many of the bushes we have around the house, including the forsythia, are very hardy. At least the bottoms of them are, but the tops still a little sparse. They're finally coming around now with this nice weather. But the reason is the snowfall and the snow cover that we've had this past winter has covered up about the bottom halves of these bushes, and it's acted as an insulator. Meanwhile, the tops of the bushes were exposed to the open air and oftentimes temperatures that fell below 15 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh, sure, it may seem like weather forecasting is very simple on the hot and humid days like this. 90 degree weather and a lot of humidity out there, easy to forecast. But keep in mind that this type of weather is tough on us humans. We have to take it easy with special rules to follow. Now, some of these rules may seem obvious, but with all the heat and humidity around, it's hard for our bodies to allow that heat to escape. So here are a few basic rules to follow when it comes to heat and hot humidity. First of all, wear light-colored eyes. The leaves of a tree take in carbon dioxide and give out oxygen. Our lungs do just the opposite, of course. We give out the carbon dioxide and take in the oxygen. It's estimated that an acre full of large trees can take in as much as 20 tons of pollution in a year's time. And a large tree, like this one, is estimated to contain as much as a half a million leaves.